Hello and welcome to webmastercampus.com. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how dynamically create elements and attach events using jQuery. Okay, let's get started. I'm here inside index.html. Going to write HTML code h1. Just create the element and now I'm going to execute it with live server. Let's create a div and I'm going to call it result. Let's give it a break. Oh, now I'm going to write a script tag inside of a script. We will write the code. I'm also going to add jQuery because without that, our code will not be executed. So dynamically create elements and attach events using jQuery we have created. Let's dynamically create a button and I'm going to call this add expense and message add expense. So when this button will click, we want to add uh, different expenses over here, different messages over here dynamically. Okay. So let's get started. And I'm going to first, what we will do, we will capture the button click like add expense. Okay. On click, we are going to call a function, anonymous function. Here we go and when this button will click let's add a console.log uh, just click something like this a message to confirm this click event is working i'm going to open the console.log here we go and i'm going to click on it okay just click happen so we are good on this one now i'm going to create a dynamically dev okay let's call this a new uh, expense or new message new expense and document dot create element and create element we are going to create a div over here okay let's call this let something like this okay so we just created a div element and now let's uh, new expense is our new div and i'm going to assign an id to it and id is expense underscore one it's the id let's call this new expense add a class to add a class we can call class name and class name is let's call this cls expense okay class expense and uh, we need to assign the content new expense dot for that purposes we are going to call inner html okay and let's call this x expense one okay so here we go and now finally we need to uh, append this uh, or add this into the div which is a result to div okay so result append append will add continuously add the new item one by one here we go when i will click on this it will add the expense if we inspect this and let's find this inside of it you can see the expense id is expense one class name is cls expense and message is expense one we are good but let's suppose if i'm going to click again to this what will happen it just repeat the div again expense one it's logically wrong but it's uh if because you know html can add anything uh, it, uh, logically id should be unique but in this case id is repeating which is not good okay or is technically a problem when you are going to search for a unique id so we need a incremental id like expense one expense two expense three something like this and to fix this problem we need to gen dynamically generate the number of id to achieve this we can find the uh, id or uh, divs available inside using a jQuery element okay so let me write the code for it and i'm going to write static brackets id static okay equals and what's the id we are using expense expense underscore so it will what it will do it will just search all the id uh with uh, expense underscore account the number of ids and it will return so we are also calling length length will just return how many ids we have 
with the word a part of the word expense underscore then we are going to plus one so it will generate a uh, new id always okay and for that one i'm going to create a uh, just removing one from here and just calling this expense id and instance of this i'm going to also call expense id so it will appear in the message as well we are good on this one let's explore this so expense one expense two expense three expense four if you see uh, inside the result diff you can find we have four unique ids of diff expense one expense underscore two expense underscore three and so on so here how we can add dynamically add the number of element this logic is unique like uh, this the purpose of this to find the how many expense underscore id inside of diff so we can calculate that and find the next id okay so that next thing we just want to capture if user is click this one expense one or expense two for that purposes we need to attach an event uh, as these ids are dynamically created we will be using document dot body to add the code and this one i'm going to write on okay not directly the click and we will tell them this is a click event and there we are going to tell the class name for let's call it dot cls expense okay and then we will pass a anonymous function with event inside of it should be a function okay so here we go and now i'm going to write down console.log console.log uh, diff let's call it just click okay so when i add expenses in this one you can see when i click on expense one we just got the message if you want to know which id just click you can add uh, this dot id please remember don't use something like this like uh, sometimes like dollar this dot id which is not going to work in that scenario we just need to use this dot id and it will be functioning okay i'm going to add expenses let's add five expenses and i'm going to click one two expense one div just click let's click on expense five so so how easy it is to dynamically create elements and attach events using jquery thank you for watching this video please like and subscribe my channel